This is DSR Racing. Practice is over. Um, we did good. Car felt really good, and uh, we were a little snug. Um, didn't really have as much stagger as we needed, causing the car to be a little tight. But um, made a few little minor adjustments, and can't thank the guys at Van Dorn enough. This car is absolutely mad fast, and the driver just got to do what he is told to do, and we should have a good night. the 24 Dylan Stovall Whale in Michigan. Man, confidence is oozing out of this guy. You gotta watch out. Second place finish, career best last week for him. Second year here. What are you learning and uh, what are your expectations for tonight? Um, definitely like up front tonight. We've been there, we were close last week, so we expect it tonight hopefully and everything goes well, we should be up there. And uh, yeah, it's just driver and car's always been there and we're finally getting the seat time and definitely helps running back to back weeks here. So I think we'll, I think we'll be good. Dylan runs a lot down at Kalamazoo Speedway. Different racetrack. Good luck tonight to Dylan. And 30 seconds, Zach. What do you expect to see in this one? Great job in the intro. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Dylan Stovall, listen, a uh, lot of confidence from him. I talked to him uh, before the broadcast as well, before we went on air, and he said the car has been right there all year long, just haven't had the qualifying run that we had hoped. Of course, they qualified, I believe, seventh tonight with the invert starting outside of the pole position outside of Nate Walton. It'll be Stovall leading lap number one. Stovall leads number one. Walton down the inside. They stay close. Campbell tucks up tightly at the 47. Stovall pulled away by a tenth of, tenth of second that lap. Dylan Stovall, third. Good night. Yeah. 
Yeah, guys, we talked about the 24 Dylan Stovall and how momentum is building for this race team. And man, uh, you had a shot there. I, I know that lap 30 restart, you push Evan Shotko to the outside. Yep. What went into that decision? And uh, I guess walk us through that restart. Um, we chose the top and we kind of felt we were a little snug so I could roll the top. And um, I don't know, preferred lying around here and we gave it a shot and he just had a little bit more roll center than us and got back to the little throttle a little sooner. and. Rode away, but great night for us. I mean, we learned a lot like we do every night. Driver learned a crap ton. So, um, yeah, benefit from here, like every week. Okay, so we don't usually ask drivers about other drivers, but I want to know what went through your head when you saw the 101. I mean, come out of nowhere. I mean, we're all we're all mesmerized by what happened. Uh, here we go again. Last week, I mean, he just, I don't think he would have got to us if the caution ever came out, but he's, he's a saving machine and got a crap ton of laps around here so uh yeah he's he's good at what he does and he's good at saving so uh we kind of learned off of him when he got out front and i think we can bring something to the table next week so all right let's talk about you again uh i've talked to you all last year start of this year and and you were you were right there you're like man this that a couple things go your way you're right there here you are i mean second place last week third place this week how good does that feel? It feels amazing, man. I'm, me and my dad and everyone on this team, Kenny, Blake, Josh, I helped Crew Chief for us. Ethan, I know he's watching later anyways, but we've uh, just been building and building and building, and it feels amazing to see the progress come come and show at the end of the features. And uh, like I said, we'll go all from here. We take it home every night and study it and uh, keep getting better. Great run again, guys. Uh, podium finish for the 24 car, Dylan Stover.